Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're in Gibraltar here from Rumble on the Rock. Opening the show today, Yusuf Kamari records his 12th win uh, against Kane Baker. Got the stoppage against the very, very game Kane Baker. Yeah, man. I was happy to get the stoppage, you know. Kane's a really durable guy. You know, if you look at his box rate, he doesn't really get stopped. So, you know, I wanted to come out here tonight and make a statement against a durable opponent. I hope that's put the rest of the division on notice. Division up, division down, anyone can get it. So, you know, I hope everyone's on notice. I hope they know I've arrived and I'm ready to come for anyone in the division. You looked huge at the weight tonight <laughs> in there. And uh, your shot selection was, was spot on tonight and you got the job done. Yeah, you know, I mean, like I said earlier on in the week, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't here to come and run corner to corner and get into a wrestling match and hold. I'm here to give people fan-friendly fights and give the people what they want to see. So I came out, I wanted to be assertive and show that I weren't going to go anywhere. I was going to stand in the middle and have a good fight. And I hope it entertained everyone at home. Don't take this the wrong way, but a lot of people don't know too much about you. You've had kind of 12 fights now, but mm. previous to today, this is kind of the biggest platform that you've been on. So hopefully now this win here can kind of propel that and kickstart what's ahead of you. Yeah, definitely, you know. I mean, you know, last night I was chuffed that you remember my name in that. So <laughs> I still remember it, so I'm happy about that one. But yeah, you know, like I said, you know, getting Kane out is a big statement. And I hope everyone realises that I've arrived now and I'm ready to go against anyone. Um, yeah, man, it's a big platform. Like you said, you know, majority of my career has been under the radar. I haven't been on a lot of televised shows, etc., etc. But, you know, now's my time. Thanks to my manager, Dylan White, and Eddie, for giving me the opportunity. I'm able to show the world what I'm about. Absolutely. So we're kind of coming into April now of 2021. So a good quarter of the year is, is nearly over. So ideally for you, how many times would you like to be out this year? Do you know what? I'd say I'd like to be out maybe three or four more times, but you know, with the current pandemic, you never know. Um, I'm just happy to be able to box first and foremost. There's a lot of guys out there that aren't able to get out and box. So, you know, I'm happy to be out to box. And you know, if, if anything comes my way, I'm ready to go. I'm part of a stable of guys, you know, like Alan the, ba Alan the Savage Babbage. You got it wrong there. That was me yesterday <laughs> calling him Alan the Bab Babbage Savage. I was saying, I was going on yeah. Yeah. So yeah, like Alan Savage, Fabio Woodley, Chris Congo, and of course, you know, the main man Dylan White and, you know, we don't turn down fights. We take any fight that comes our way. So if anything comes my way, I'm ready to go. Why are you happy to have your career in the hands of Dillian White? Explain to me. Do you know what? He's someone that's given me an opportunity, you know. He's seen something in me and he's willing to give me an opportunity and give me an opportunity like tonight to box on a big platform, you know. Um, I've boxed, I'm able to say I've boxed on a pay-per-view show. Not only a pay-per-view show, I've got to fly out during lockdown and experience this, this amazing experience. I don't know what other word to explain it, but, you know, so I'm privileged to have someone like him who's, who's willing to give someone like me an opportunity. You know, I'm not an Olympian. I'm not someone who's had a stellar amateur career, but he still sees something in me and still wants to help me. So, you know, I'm, I'm, grateful, to, I'm grateful for that. I've never seen you box tonight, but I can tell from the performance tonight that you're going to be kind of very exciting in the division. Whether you go up or not, that's kind of, time will tell that. But um, I think people will kind of like your style that, you know, you don't kind of take a backward step. And, and again, just reference to Kane Baker tonight. Uh, Kane Baker's like a very durable, tough motherfucker. And I think that to get a stoppage win over someone like Kane Baker kind of shows your credentials. Yeah, like I said, Kane's, Kane's a tough motherfucker, man. I hit him with some massive shots. And he just kept coming, kept coming, kept coming, you know? I mean, I even hit him to the body hard. Kept coming, he's, he, he's so tough. He's so tough, so you know, you know, all the credit to him. And, and, and what he's done in his boxing career, you know. Before, before our fight got announced, I was actually a fan of Kane, you know. I love his story. I love how he's, he's turned his life around and, and made something of himself, made something of himself in boxing. But you know, I had to do what I had to do. It's business. I had to go out there and do what I had to do and take care of business, man. So on to the next now. This fight could have wound up on your doorstep because obviously uh, this fight was originally meant to take place March the 6th at Wembley and you literally yeah. could have probably crawled out of bed into the fight bubble. But um, yeah, we're in Gibraltar. Great experience for you, great platform for you, and uh, yeah, onwards and upwards. Yeah, onwards and upwards, man. You know, I'm, I'm, my, face, my face doesn't probably show, but I'm so happy that I got out there and got the decision, man. But you know, to top it all off, Coogan knows my name. <laughs> I love the way you say that. I do like the way you say that. I'm only waiting. Um, you have Filipino heritage? Yeah. Okay. yeah, my mother's from the Philippines, and my dad's from across the water in Morocco, so. Yeah, man, that's my background. I'm born and bred in London. And yeah, man, just simple. One thing about me, you asked me about three facts about myself last night. I just love to fight, man. I just love to fight. <laughs> simple as.
That's all we really need to know because yeah. the rest of it you'll obviously show us in the ring. Yeah. So this could be the second coming of Manny Pacquiao, basically. Yeah, 100%. You know, you know I love Manny, man. I can't love Manny. If I don't love Manny, my mum will kick me out of the house. So I have to love Manny. <laughs> I have to love him, man. But you know what? He's someone I watched growing up and I love how he comes and brings it every fight and has wars every fight. And it's something that I try to emulate as well. So, yeah, man, the fans have got to look, look forward to loads of fan-friendly fights from me. A lot of entertainment. So stay tuned on the journey, man. Let's go. Yusuf Kamari, thank you very much for talking to Eiffel TV. I know your name. Could I spell your name? <laughs> Today I had to have a couple of checks when we put our interview view out. Um, <laughs> I could spell your name. Why are you double S E F Yusuf? Yeah. K H O U M A R I. Flipping oh, you got it right, man. Buddy, oh, that's made my trip. <laughs> Not only does he know it, <laughs> he can spell it. <laughs> Listen, congratulations to you. You've kind of you've made a statement tonight uh, against Kane Baker, and uh, I wish you the best of luck with the rest of 2021. And I hope you get kind of you're still kind of learning, you're still building rounds. 12 fights for you, so there's a long way to go for you in your career. Yeah, no, thank you, Coogan, man. I appreciate you, and yeah, man, we're building, we're building. Whatever comes our way next, we're ready, we're ready to go. Like I said, fan-friendly fights, no holding, no running, wars only. Let's go. Do you know what? This doesn't mean anything to anyone, but. Do you know when I speak to you, and I only spoke to you this week, mm. interviewed you first time, there's good energy. I feel good energy yeah. from you, so I like that. No, I try to be positive all the time, and you know, I respect everyone, try and be positive. So yeah, man, I appreciate you. Get the same off you, man, good energy. You know what they say, real recognize real, so. Absolutely. Yusuf Kamari, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV, and uh, yeah, go and, uh, go and chill out, get your gloves okay. off, and uh, watch uh, your boys yeah. in action later on. Time to go and get fat, let's go. <laughs>